Hey, John, look what I can do with this grape. Oh. Huh, that's nothing. Watch this. Oh. I'm not impressed. Watch this. Oh. Oh, yeah? Watch this. Oh. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Garfield and friends. Friends are there. To help you get started, to give you a push on your way. Friends are there. To turn you around, get your feet on the ground for a brand new day. They'll pick you up when you're down. Help you swallow your pride with something inside. Got to break on through to the other side. Friends are someone you can open up to When you feel like you're ready to flip When you've got the world on your shoulder Friends are there to give you a tip Friends are there when you need them They're even there when you want For a walk in the park, for a shot in the dark Friends are there I don't care But friends will care for you A funny thing happened to me on my way to my cartoon show. The dreaded jungle tiger cat prowls in search of food. Growl, snarl, growl, growl. Hey, it's my fantasy. I can have all the sound effects I want, okay? It's the terminally poisonous jungle snake, waiting to lure an unsuspecting victim with its hypnotic dance of doom. But the jungle tiger cat is the supreme predator, the consummate hunter, and fortunately, the smartest link in the food chain. Roar! Garfield, Cody, the plants! Look at this mess! Oh no, not my ferns again. I've told you before not to play with the house plants, especially the ferns. I ought to take away your TV privileges as punishment. No, no, not that. Please, my favorite movie, Attack of the Giant Pod People, is on today. I'll sit here and be good. I won't do anything. I won't sleep. I won't eat. I won't even scratch. Let me know if he's buying this. Honest, I promise. There must be a fern somewhere that's Garfield-proof. Got the fern again, eh, Johnny? <laughs> Shame. You know, that one you bought last time was a real beauty. Adiantum capillus banaris, I believe it was. I want a strong fern this time, Mr. Rhizome. One that can stand up to real punishment. One that... One that looks like this one. Oh, dear, my eyes are going. I'll be needing new glasses soon. Uh, that's, uh... Ah! Oh! Nephrolepis exaltata, I believe. <laughs> Got a few of them in this morning with the Arboretum shipment. I'll take it. They'll ring it up for you at the counter, Johnny. Thanks, Mr. Rhizome. Hello, exhibit department. The meat-eating fern? Ah, that would be Nephrolepis monstera carnivorum delicioso strangulatum. Yes, it came in today. Gee, it was here a moment ago. Hi, boys. Will you see what I bought? Is it edible, whatever it is? This fern is called Nephrolepis exultata. Introduced in 1793 from the tropics, reproduces from spores. Yuck. I don't touch anything that has spores. Keep adequately lit, but well away from heat and direct rays of the sun and from cats named Garfield. Hey, I'm famous. Now, I'll go get it some water. <laughs> Leave it alone, or I won't let you watch Attack of the Giant Pod People. You're a cruel man, John Arbuckle. <laughs> Ah, I got half an hour till my movie. Is somebody there? Hm, could have sworn somebody came into the room. Oh well. There's somebody here. Maybe it's an evil, ugly monster. No worse. Maybe it's normal. Huh? The plant 
is waving at me? Nah, must be my bored imagination crying out for trivial amusement. Only 20 minutes till my movie. I'll watch some meaningless drivel until then. <laughs> Get out, Odie. This is not happening. This is not happening. This is not happening. Now I know how everything I've ever eaten must have felt. Garfield, you let go of that fern. We would like very much to be able to do that. Any suggestions? Yikes! Help! Help! You were saying something about me letting go of the fern? Get help! Get help? No! What am I gonna do? Hello, police? I'd like to report a geranium eating my friends? Stay back! I've got a food processor and I know how to use it. Johnny boy, are you alright? Hold on, Johnny, I'll save you! Emergency! Don't that plan! Oh. I just found the Thousand Island dressing and I was about to make the world's biggest salad bar. Well, 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 what was that? Fern got your cat, eh, Johnny? I'm sorry, I accidentally gave you a rare meat-eating fern by mistake. Here is the real Nephrolepis exaltata. This naughty fern is going safely behind glass. Sorry for the mix-up. Well, let's watch some TV and relax. of the giant pod people, the story of plant creatures who invaded Earth and devoured everyone and everything. Oh, I don't think so. Welcome to the Crochet Hour. Today we're going to discuss how to make doilies in the shape of small children. Oh, small chicks. We're going swimming, Wade. Yeah, will you join us? Swimming? <laughs> Not I. I have dread of H2O. Well, you don't have to get into the water. Yeah, just stand next to it. We really want you to be with us, Wade. Yeah, we need you. Sure, guys. <laughs> How wonderful to be needed. <laughs> been a good friend. Maybe Booker would let me have his old record player to give Bo. All right, you wormy varmints. Catch Booker is gonna hog tie you. You won't get away from me. rate it might be. Uh, do you need this record player, Booker? I'd really love to give it to Bo. He needs one badly. I need a skateboard so I can go after that worm. You find me a skateboard and you can have the record player. A uh, skateboard, huh? Okay, maybe Roy has one. Oh, 
Oh boy, pig approaching. Ha! When he walks in, the bucket will fall and whammo, drenched porker. And then, an even better trick, I offer him some of this garlic and Tabasco flavored super super hot chewing gum. <laughs> Roy, I have a favor to ask you. Oh, Orson, dear friend, have some gum? Thanks, I'll chew it later. Do you have a skateboard you don't need? Yes, and I'll let you have it if you'll get me a pie. I so need pie. Pie, huh? I'll see what I can do. Boy, two tricks failed. He didn't chew the gum and... and what was that other one? Oh, right. Definitely not. Uh, does that mean no pie? No, it means absolutely no pie. Comprendo? These are for supper. <laughs> Don't worry, Lanolin, I'll save you! Our pig to the rescue! Oh, now I'm really in trouble. <laughs> Not bad, but I really need that other pie. Well, you can't have it for nothing. I'll trade it to you for a ladder. Yeah, I got windows to wash. Today, Wade, you take to the air. No more cowardice. Today, you fly. Oh, Wade. Yikes! Whoa. Uh, Wade, I need a ladder. Take it! Take it far! From now on, I only stay on level ground. No, wait, that's too high. From now on, I only stand in holes. Well, let me give you something for it. Take it! Well, gee, everyone else is getting something. Oh, I know. Have some gum. Gum? Well, that's safe. <laughs> Thank you. Everything's gonna work out fine. This is that Orson gave me. Maybe. I'm going to take my ladder back. If I didn't get my ladder, I want my pie back. Ah, a gourmet delight. Fine cuisine in an elegant setting. And no one around to see me eat with my hands. <laughs> my pot. Where'd it go? I give up a skateboard for that, and I want it back! No chance for it! I have wheels! There's my skateboard! Player. My record player! I am so happy! Everything worked out great, Sheldon! What a great... And I'm oh, telling you, you right now! Oh, 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 you don't have to take that! Buzz off, half-pint! Who are you calling half-pint, you feather duster? Hold it, hold it! What is everyone arguing about? Let's get back together, put these arguments to an end. Booker's not a half pint, he's at least a pint, my friend. Roy's more than a feather duster, but not as smart as a pig. Lanolin's not obnoxious, it's just that her mouth is so big. Bo, you're better than a cotton swab, even if you are a nerd. Wade's not a coward, except for the fact that he's afraid of a cottage cheese curd. Sheldon's not a rotten egg, maybe just soft boiled. Let's take back everything we said and not let our friendship be spoiled. And we don't mean to call you fat! Enough already! Everybody take everything back! Booker, give Bo the record player. Roy, give Booker the skateboard. Lanolin, give Roy the pie. And Wade, give Lanolin the ladder. 
Now let's all be friends and let's all share. Orson, you're right. Yeah, let's share everything. Yeah, sharing. A care for some gum, Roy? Hmm, don't mind if I do, Wade. You know, everyone wound up with just what they wanted except you. That's really not... <laughs> yep. Everybody, everybody got what they wanted. Or what they deserve. <laughs> Shower should be dragged into the street and shot. But I know. Nope. Too good for him. <laughs> Don't worry, boy. Two more choruses and I'm calling the Humane Society. What a good shower. I'm going out with Heather, beautiful, lovely, perfect in every way, Heather. New girlfriend. John just met her. I give it till 9 o'clock. Uh-oh, 6.45. I still have to call and get directions to her apartment. No swinging bachelor should be without one of these, boys. The indispensable little black book of women's phone numbers. Let's see, Al's Pizza Delivery, Chow Mein City, Ham Sandwiches or Us, Garfield, this is your little black book. Hey, you keep the numbers you need, I keep the numbers I need, okay? This one's mine. Uh, yeah, hello. Uh, Heather? Heather's in the shower. What do you want? Oh, I, uh, <clears throat> uh we, we, we were going out to dinner tonight, and... <laughs> Not tonight, pal. Tonight she's going to dinner with me. Ciao. She's got another guy there. Gee, 647. That's a new record for John. That's what I like about Linguini. It never stands you up. You know, it just isn't worth it. Who needs the heartbreak? So much for Heather and all women. It's better to stay a bachelor. I thought I heard the phone ring, Mike. Uh, yes, it was some guy called. Said you were supposed to go to dinner with him. I told him you were going to dinner with me. Oh, I bet that was John. He's the sweetest, cutest guy. Tonight was supposed to be our first date. You know, I gotta be careful who takes my sister out. Believe me, any guy who'd put up with the cat he's got has to be the sweetest guy in the world. I left a message on his answering machine after you called from the truck stop. I wonder why he didn't get it. You know, boys, it's great not to feel the social pressure of trying to find a date all the time. And I can save money, too. Garfield, I want you to get rid of this little black book. Don't give it back to me no matter what I say, no matter how much I insist. Of course, Heather is the only girl who stood me up in a while. Let me have it back, Garfield. No, you're not supposed to give it back to me no matter what I say. Ah, this is stupid. Garfield, give me back the book. Garfield, I told you not to give it back to me. Make up your mind. I'll order a takeout pizza and we'll watch TV. Oh, look. I got a message on my answering machine while I was in the shower. Let's see who it is. John, honey, it's Heather. My brother just got into town and he wants to take me to dinner. Can we get together later? Call me back. I can't wait to see you. The guy who answered the phone was her brother. I gotta call her. Give me back my little black book. Garfield, my little black book. Nope. 
I hit it. Come on, Garfield. I really want my black book back now. A ton of bricks doesn't have to fall on me. I've hidden it where you'll never find it. Please, pretty please, Garfield, give it back to me. How demeaning. Have you no dignity? <laughs> Look who I'm asking. I've got to get that book back. Oh, Garfield, why don't you come into the kitchen for a little snack? <gasps> Did I hear someone say the S word? Oh, John, you shouldn't have a medium-sized lasagna. Now, Garfield, tell me where you hid my book. My principal are not for sale. Give it back. No, never. This is John's house. I want you to meet him. He's so nice. Give me that book. Stay away from me. John? Gotcha! Hey, offside! No. John! No. How could you treat a cat like that? You're not the nice guy I thought you were. I never want to see you again. Hey, stay away from my sister, you cat-hating creep! Heather, let me explain. I was... Okay, here's your book. See if I ever do you a favor again. What good does it do me now? Heather is gone forever. Here, boy. Take this out and bury it, and don't tell me where it is. Look, Garfield, I'm really sorry. I don't know what came over me. Well, all right. As long as you admit to being an idiot, we'll let bygones be bygones. And another thing, John Arbuckle. I guess I had it wrong, John. That cat does love you. Call me later and we'll make plans for tomorrow night. You mean it? See you later, Johnny. Odie! Everything's okay now. Let me have my little black book. Odie, give it to me. Odie, please, Odie, you must. I need to find it. I've got to find it. I wish he'd learned to make up his mind. Maybe it's over there! Maybe it's over there! Maybe by the rose bush! Oh, 